Matt, we're always talking about um, I suppose adding clips to, to that intro we have. But I suppose with the team at the weekend, three Limerick teams went around the country and brought home three different All Ireland titles and different codes. We had Tinder 16s, 15s, and 14s. We had the the Arab Bombs under 15, which was the one that I think was Keane Lynch's age, won 10 years ago with Michael Foley, which is the under 16 tournament. And then for the under 14s, Tony Forrestal. So three more All Irelands for Limerick. And I suppose that the next crop coming are, are showing for a, a bright future for Limerick Ireland. I should look to, to, to it's abs- absolutely fantastic on you, Jack. Um, and it's absolutely testimony to the value um, of, of, of the Hurling Academy and, and how it is working. And, um, you know, I suppose, um, you know, the teams at this stage and everybody is deriving oxygen, you know, from um, the, the success of the senior team. And um, um, when these young players will trace how, where it all started for the, the current senior team, they'll be saying to themselves, hey, this, this can be us in a four or five years' time. And um, absol- absolutely fantastic. You're right. Um, they went to Wexford in the in, in the um, under under 16, the Michael Foley tournament, and there they beat Tipperary and 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 Dublin to qualify for the final against Wexford. Now they did a huge they did a huge win over Wexford in the final, something like five ten to one seven. Jack, it was it was a huge victory. But I suppose if if there was you know absolutely fantastic, but um, when you talk about scoring exploits, um, the scoring exploits of Dan Colopy from Maru Bohar um, in the under-16 competition, and he'll be eligible for minor this year, he was a minor last year, um, were just simply phenomenal. In the three games, he scored 3-5, 2-7 and 3-4. Seven goals and 16 points in, 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 in three games, which was absolutely phenomenal. And full credit to... to the management team um, and doing a great job down in Wexford. And the under-15 team, the Arabon, which is the, probably the big one, went to Tipperary and um, uh, they were based in Tumivara and, and Nina. I think they are, sorry, in Monegal, I think they played. They played Kilkenny in the semi-final. And like, you, you, you know, when you talk about underage success, and you, you talk about Limerick winning in Ireland like they did earlier on this year when they beat all the counties in Munster, Galway and and, um, and um, Kilkenny. And, you know, this this was the perfect one to win as well because in the semi-final they beat Kilkenny and in the final they beat Galway, you know, which, which was ab- absolutely tremendous. Now, as for the under-14s, the under the Forest still, believe it or not, some guy has come up with the idea that we should have a Forestal North and a Forestal South and uh, Limerick somehow were included in in the Forestal North which was uh, the, the Forestal w- was always held, you know, where it originated in County Waterford but some guy has come up with the bright idea that we'll take the Forestal North to Abbottstown in Dublin. So Limerick were off to Dublin and um, lost to Dublin after extra time in the quarter final. And then went on to beat Clare and Galway to win the the, the, the Tony Forrestal Shield. So it was just a fantastic weekend. Three teams out, three coming home with silverware. Two of them with the primary silverware that was an offer. Absolutely great testimony. Well done to everybody that's involved um, with, with, with the academy. Pat Donnelly, who heads up the uh, academy. Tara Drew, pa Brown, uh, Paul Brown, uh, Pat Jones. I, I, absolutely, you know this. This is this is phenomenal stuff, Jack. I, I, absolutely, and it copper fastens the future of Limerick hurling. And like we, we, we would hope that come twenty twenty three, we will see it reflected on a good minor team, because um, I suppose in twenty twenty two our minor team wasn't as good as previous ones. Like we 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 beat Kerry okay, but we we, we lost rather heavily to, and disappointingly to Waterford. Um, but we, we we would we would we would certainly be optimistic about the rich minor chances in in 2023. And I don't want to be jumping ahead of myself or anything like that, Jack. But you know, um, when, when you're winning an under 16, a major under 16 tournament, and an under 15 tournament, these boys will be under 17 and under 16 next year. There's going to be a fair pool of players there. So, like, um, 
you know, it it it, it augurs well for the future, Jack. That the, yeah. that players are coming through at the different levels. Yeah, you don't want to get too far ahead yourself. But as I mentioned, the the last Liberty team, I, I presume they're the last Liberty team to win the under fifteen competition. We've gone to win four All Irelands in five years, and 